What's up everybody, Sevon here with a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the battery on a 2011 MacBook Air. This one is a 13 inch model, it's my sister's laptop, and she's been using it pretty much consistently for the past 8 years. Now, the only issue she has with this uh, is that the battery tends to die after about a half hour or so, so it's pretty much plugged into the wall all the time. Now, that defeats the purpose of having a really thin laptop, does it not? So, let's go ahead and fix it. It's really simple, only about three things required. You're gonna need a T5 Torx bit, a P5 Pentalobe Torx bit, and, of course, a replacement battery. I'll have links to all of those in the description box below. Let's go through with it and fix this laptop. So let's grab that Pentalobe P5 screwdriver and remove all of the bottom case screws. Take note of the two long screws that are by the hinge of the laptop. You don't want to put those in the other corners. After removing all of the screws, gently pry away at the bottom of the case right by the hinge. It should just pull right off. If this is your first time opening this laptop, chances are there's years worth of dust that's built up inside there. I recommend taking a can of compressed air and blowing at it. Um, I also recommend taking it outside because that dust is going to fly all over the place and you don't want it getting in your eyes. Now it's time to remove the old battery from the laptop. Grab the Torx T5 screwdriver, locate the five screws, and remove them. At the top left of the old battery, you'll find a strip that connects it to the laptop. Gently pull at the plastic handle that's hanging off of it. It won't take too much energy and it should slide right off. As you can see here, I try a few tugs and it eventually does pull. Afterwards, the old battery should lift right out of the case. Now it's time to install the new battery. Slide it in in the same orientation as the old one, plug it in and make sure the connection is snug and fully inserted. Reinstall the screws that we took out earlier from the old battery. Take note of the two longer ones that are on the top right and left sides of the battery. You don't want to mix those up with the others. Just make sure that everything is snug and there aren't any raised edges. And next, all we have left to do is install the bottom case. We'll be using the Penelope P5 screwdriver again. Make sure that everything is lined up and flush with the rest of the case. And take note again of the two longer screws that are by the hinge. Let's just take a quick second to make sure that we've installed the battery properly. Turn on the laptop and make sure that it actually does turn the screen on. Plug the power adapter back in and let the laptop charge to 100%. After fully charging the laptop, head to System Preferences, then the Energy Saver menu, and turn off all of the energy saving preferences. We just don't want the display to sleep or the computer to turn off while we're draining the battery. After you've adjusted the power management settings, you'll want to set the screen to about 50% brightness or so, unplug the power, and let the laptop drain until it dies. After the power has finished, I would let it sit for a little longer just so any residual power that's left over in the battery diminishes. Then you can plug it back in, charge it to 100%, and use the laptop like you normally would. The SMC controller in the MacBook should be fully calibrated at this point, and your laptop battery should be lasting like it did when it was brand new. As always, I'll have links to the tools and parts used in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you loved it, consider smashing that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!